This video is how to set up a wallet on the Tron network so that we can send around USDT. Now it's easy to get set up with a wallet, but the difficult thing on Tron is paying for the transactions. Tron has a unique way of paying for transactions. And as long as we know how it works, we can reduce our transaction fees significantly sending USDT on Tron. So I'll go through exactly how to do that in this video. I'll leave timestamps for everything down below as well. So the first thing we need to do is get a wallet that supports the Tron network. I'm gonna show you with Trust Wallet because this is one of the most popular wallets and most people are gonna use this anyway. And so I'll show you on this. So Trust Wallet is really what people will use. However, Tron Link is also a great wallet for Tron made specifically for the Tron network. You can stake your TRX tokens in here. It's a great wallet to use and it gives you all of the same features. Most people will use Trust Wallet, so we'll get set up with Trust Wallet for this video. If you don't have a wallet set up already, then I'll leave videos below that go through the setup process step by step so you can watch those videos. However, it is a simple process, so go and download Trust Wallet from your app store. From there, you just have to press create a new wallet and press continue. And it's gonna give you this, which is a recovery phrase. These 12 words are your wallet. So if you delete the app, or if you wanna reload the app on a different device, you can reload your wallet, you put these 12 words in, and you gain access to your wallet and all of the crypto in your wallet on the different device. So this is your wallet. So keep those 12 words very, very safe and write them down. Don't let anyone see them because if anyone has these 12 words, they have complete and total access to your wallet. So it's as simple as download the app, create new wallet, these 12 words, and then you come in to this home page, and it should look like this. And then from there, we want to add TRX and any tokens on Tron that we want to use. From here, what we can do is go to the top right hand corner, search for TRX. This is the native crypto of the Tron network. We're going to need this TRX you can see here. And then what you can do is add in any tokens that you want to use like USDT. And you can see this is on the Tron network. USDT is on many different networks. So we have to choose the correct ne network, which is USDT Tron. So toggle that on, go back to the main page and you can see the two assets here. Now we have balances and receive addresses to receive these tokens. Before moving forward, we have to talk about how gas is paid on the Tron network. This is how we pay for transaction fees. This is slightly different to other networks and it's important that we know how to pay for these transaction fees because otherwise they're gonna be more expensive than necessary. So Tron works with two different token standards. One is TRC10, which is the Tron token. So these are kind of native tokens, right? The native coin. The other is TRC20, which USDT falls under. These are tokens built on top of the network. Now you actually pay for these transactions separately with things known as bandwidth and energy. Bandwidth is given for free for every wallet. So the wallet that we've just set up on the Tron network, we actually get 600 bandwidth per day for free. And that means that we can send TRX around basically for free. Now, each bandwidth transaction is about 300 or so. So you get around 200, or you get around two transactions per day for free for the TRX token. That's great news. Now, after that, if you want to continue to send TRX, you have to essentially buy bandwidth with the TRX token. So that's going to cost some transaction fees. Moving over to energy, this is what we need to send USDT. Now we don't get any energy for free each day, which means that we always have to get that energy to pay for transactions. Now, if you just send a, T a USDT transaction, what's gonna happen in the transaction is that you're gonna have to buy the energy and that means paying some fee out of TRX to pay for the USDT transaction. The other way to do things is actually to stake your TRX. If you stake TRX, you get some energy each day to pay for transaction fees. Now, Trust Wallet doesn't allow us to stake TRX to get energy. If we stake TRX in Trust Wallet, we get bandwidth, but not energy. And so the way that we can get around this is by actually going and buying the energy for cheap and using it to send the transactions. So I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. 
but you either don't do that and you just pay a transaction fee, which is going to be a bit, bit higher, or we can just simply go on the Tron network, buy some energy, and then reduce our transaction fees when sending USDT. Before anything else, we need some TRX in our wallet because we either need to buy some energy in order to send US dollar tether around, or we need to buy it within the transaction and pay a transaction fee when sending the tether. Either way, we're gonna need some amount of TRX in our wallet first. So I've got TRX here. So I click TRX and then press receive like this. This is my TRX address that I've created on the Tron blockchain within Trust Wallet. So I'm going to copy this address. And then from here, I'm gonna go over to an exchange account. So all of the top exchanges have TRX tokens, Binance, Bybit, OKX, and many others. So you can go on there and buy a TRX pretty easily. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave links below to tutorial guides for all of the exchanges I use. You can see how to buy crypto on there and withdraw it as well. I'll also leave links below to the exchanges I use. You can get deposit and trading bonuses on those as well if you are a new, uh, new user. So you can check the links below for all of the details about the deposit bonuses. But I've gone and bought some TRX tokens, as you can see. So I'm going to click the TRX and then I'm going to withdraw. Send via crypto network. Every exchange is the same. Once you've bought the token, you can withdraw it via a crypto network and put your address in that you've got in your wallet. So I'm going to paste in my wallet address. This is my trust wallet address. And then from here, it's automatically seen that the network is Tron because it's a Tron network address. And it's going to cost me around one TRX or 11 cents to send this transaction. And I'm just going to withdraw the most that I can, which is my balance. So what this is doing is taking TRX over the Tron network, sending it to the wallet address of your wallet that you've pasted in here. Press withdraw from your exchange and that will be sent out to your wallet. If you have TRX tokens within your Trust Wallet, you can stake them to earn extra bandwidth. Like I said, bandwidth is those free transactions each day that we get. We get 600 bandwidth, which is about two free transactions for TRX each and every day. If you stake within Trust Wallet, the more TRX that you stake, the more bandwidth that you get. But bandwidth isn't what we want for sending USDT. Now on the Tron network, you can actually stake TRX and choose either energy or bandwidth that you get. Unfortunately in Trust Wallet, as of making this video, if you stake TRX, you just get bandwidth, which isn't what we want for sending USDT. I'll show you an example of this by going over to the Tron link wallet, which I mentioned at the start of this video. As you can see up here, it actually gives you the option when staking TRX to stake for energy or to stake for bandwidth. Now bandwidth we get for free every day, but you can choose to stake TRX and get more bandwidth if you want. So if you're using a Tron link, you can see down here, uh, stake this icon. So I'll click this and stake for resources. And it says, if you want to stake your TRX, what do you want to be given each day? Do you want energy or do you want bandwidth? Bandwidth is sending TRX. So we want energy for sending a token like USDT. So you can stake an amount in here. Now the problem is, is that you do need a fair chunk of TRX being staked to actually give yourself enough energy to pay for transactions. And so if you've got a decent chunk of TRX, hey, maybe you just want to stake it within TronLink Wallet. You'll stake the TRX. You'll be getting staking rewards. You'll be getting energy. And so no issues right there. So if you have enough, definitely TronLink is a great option. You can choose how much you stake and if you're getting extra bandwidth or extra energy. So that's not an issue. Within Trust Wallet, we don't have that option. It's only uh, bandwidth that we get. There is a workaround which I'll show you right now. Because many users may not want to stake sufficient amounts of TRX to reduce their transaction fees, what they can do is actually just buy energy directly and then use it to reduce their fees. Now, if you don't do this, all you're going to do is buy the energy in the transaction itself when sending USDT, which is fine, but it may cost you a couple of dollars. What we can do is reduce our fees here. So what we're going to do is connect our wallet to just lend DAO and then go to energy rental right here. And what we can do is just reduce the amount of money we're paying um, in energy for sending USDT. So what we're going to do is connect our wallet. Now within Trust Wallet, if you go to discover and then just type in just lend DAO, I'll link it below. Then you can get to this website within Trust Wallet itself. I'm just going to show you connecting to uh, the wallet right here on my computer. So connect wallet, 
and then we want Wallet Connect. And then from here, all you have to do is just scan the QR code. So go into your Trust Wallet, get the QR code scanner, and then just scan the QR code to link the wallet. So now my wallet, as you can see, is connecting to uh, Just Lend DAO. So press Connect, and that should connect to the DAP. Now, once that's connected, you should see in the top right-hand corner, my wallet is connected here. And then what I can do, it's reading my balance of TRX, and it says, hey, you can actually use this, you can rent energy and reduce your transaction fees for sending TRC20 tokens, of which US dollar tether is one. What we need to do here is rent enough energy for the amount of transactions that we want to carry out. So the rental amount, let's put in uh, an amount. You can see that 300,000 would be enough for seven transactions. Well, I don't need that many. So let's say uh, 100,000, that's enough for about two transactions. And I want to rent that for the day. Uh, just because I'm making the transactions today, right? I have to prepay an amount of TRX, as you can see here. And if we go down, you should be able to see that uh, that should be enough for around two transactions here. And you'll be charged an amount of TRX as a deposit, but you should save a very decent amount of, um, you know, transaction fees because you can see we get 600 bandwidth per day. So sending a transaction should be a lot cheaper here to actually get this energy. And then we can go uh, rent that energy and then use it to send USDT much cheaper. So from here, if you're happy to rent this amount, I'm just gonna press rent now. And then what we need to do is confirm that and sign it in your wallet. So that should come up in your trust wallet now that it's connected. So if I just show you that, this is the transaction and I just need to confirm that within my wallet. So what that's gonna do is go through with the transaction and after that's gone through, what should happen is that I actually get um, enough energy in my wallet to then use that to reduce my transaction fees for sending Tether. You can now see after that transaction has gone through that I now have energy that I've rented. This is the rented amount, it's 100,000, and I've rented it for the day. Now it's important to end this order once you've sent your transactions. So what you can do is renew it if you want for another day, pay you know a small transaction fee, or you can end it. I'd recommend ending it once you're done because otherwise the deposit that you've made gets taken away from you. So as we can see here, we're renting energy and we should be saving a lot. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because if we have to stake TRX to get this much energy, it costs 24,000 TRX, which most people probably either wouldn't have in their wallet or wouldn't want to buy it. So we now have some energy that we can use to send transactions. If you want to receive USDT into your Tron wallet, it's the exact same address as the TRX token, but we just need to make sure in our wallet that we're using USDT on Tron. USDT on Tron here, so I'll click this, go to receive. That's gonna give you your wallet address. So copy that, then go over to your exchange and you want to withdraw. So USDT withdraw. So I'm gonna paste in my address here. And then from here it says which network we want Tron TRC20 and then we can withdraw that from our exchange or wherever we buy USDT into our own Tron wallet. Now that you have some USDT in your wallet, you can send it out to any other Tron wallet as long as you have their address. And if you've got some energy within Trust Wallet, you may be able to reduce the transaction fees that you would otherwise pay. So as we can see here, TRX, if we press send on this, you need to get some address. So a Tron wallet address that you're gonna to send to so I'll paste in a Tron wallet address here, press the max amount, press next, and you can see the transaction fee for Trust Wallet, they're still charging us $0.03, so three cents. On the USDT, if we go to send this, paste in the address, and then press an amount of USDT, Trust Wallet is still going to be charging us $1.55 here, but if you're using some energy, that may be reduced. So we're gonna press confirm, and then just go through with that transaction. That's pending, send the USDT out, that's gonna go through to the wallet address um, that you've seen. Now, if you're gonna be using energy there, it should reduce the transaction fee. And you can see my wallet does have energy now. I spent one transaction for TRX, renting the energy, so that's some of my bandwidth for the day used up. And I've got the energy that I rented here, 100,000. So if Trust Wallet uses that energy, should be able to reduce transaction fees a little bit, use up some of that energy for the day to send USDT over the Tron network. 
Just to show you how this transaction works under the surface as well, what we've done for that transaction is used energy. So my energy was 100,000, now it's 68,000. What I've done is sent an amount of dollars as well. So if we go over to Trust Wallet, you can see I received in $55.72. If you can see what I sent from my Trust Wallet back out to Binance, right here is $55.72. Now, Trust Wallet said that they were going to charge a, charge a transaction fee here, but we actually paid with energy. So if we go over to the Binance, you can see it's received $55.72. So we've paid in energy and not the transaction fee there. So we've reduced the transaction fee significantly by going through this process of getting energy. I'll leave those deposit links to the exchanges I use down in the description below, alongside some other helpful videos on getting set up with Trust Wallet and using exchanges. I'm James with MyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.